As the grand electors cast their votes for a third consecutive day in Italy's unprecedented presidential election, it's hoped a secret agreement on a new head of state is edging closer. But the process is riddled with challenges. So we must imagine a game with a lot of players, with very little rules, and every player trying to extract as much as possible. It is bound to be complicated. In the initial rounds, most of the 1,008 MPs and regional delegates cast blank votes as political blocs struggled to reach a compromise on a name. Prime Minister Mario Draghi is considered one of the main contenders, but his appointment to the top job is problematic on several levels. This is unique indeed because it never happened before, even though there are no constitutional prohibition to that happening. And in this case, this will open a governmental crisis. Therefore, a key theme of backroom talks is who could replace him as PM and hold the coalition government together until general elections next year. The international community is also watching closely as the former head of the European Central Bank is considered key to Italy's economic stability and the successful rollout of the multi-billion dollar EU recovery fund. Italy is the first beneficiary of EU money within this fund. Many think that uh, Mario Draghi is an, uh, an assurance of continuity in this respect. Experts say that a result could be achieved on Thursday as a simple majority is sufficient for a win instead of the two-thirds majority needed in the first three rounds of voting. If Mario Draghi is elected, this means that they have found some form of an agreement on a new government. Uh, I think that would be a government very similar to the present government because they cannot move around very many pieces. Another name high on the list is former president of the Chamber of Deputies, Pierre Ferdinando Cassini, or there's the possibility that President Sergio Mattarella could be re-elected. His term in office officially ends on February 3rd, and it's hoped by then Italy will have a result. Hermione Kitson, CGTN, Rome.